Hello everyone, welcome back to the episode of our Vacker Innsbruck save, and my golly, we are sitting in first place. Four points, uh, four wins, uh, four games, four wins, and 12 points to our name. Really incredible, really nice to see two clean sheets, three goals conceded, um, what is it, sorry, 11 scored, three conceded, things are looking lovely, and we are getting goals and assists from people that we didn't expect at the beginning of the season. But you know what? I'm loving it and I'm happy with it. And it is brilliant. So let's roll the intro, get into things, and see if we can't grow the lead even further at the top of the table. As mentioned, uh, I had played four games, picked up four wins. We are a perfect five from five to start the season. Obviously, last time you guys were here, we had a one nil, we had a three nil cup win. It was a lovely hat trick from our new signing, Sarkan. Um, unfortunately, Sarkan picked up an injury early on into our game against Austria Lustenau, but a double from Solberg uh, managed to put us over the edge. I think he also picked up the assist on the corner goal. A late goal, though kept the clean sheet the perfect first game back uh to a limited celebration but still came in the next game a 94th minute winner against rapid pretty big one uh it's pretty even game probably not deserved to win it but you know what we're not complaining then a um quite a big comeback at the end uh 76 minute goal and then uh angles putting home the penalty in the 80th minute against wolfsburg at say to uh rescue uh the three points after blowing a two after blowing a 1-0 lead, thanks to Jimmy J. Morgan. But things then continue to get even better after a 3-0 win over uh, SW Bergens in a lovely fashion. Morgan, Ginny, and new signing Carvalho getting on the score sheet to give us a 3-0 win and a lovely second clean sheet of the season. But now we face off against Austria Vienna and Salzburg. So two big games for us. And if we do look at our club info, we do remember... That's, um, so obviously Salzburg here is the original West RB versus Salzburg. Uh, sorry, that's the old one, but, um, RB Salzburg here, it's a big rivalry. We also get to face off against Gerhard Struber, who a man that I heavily dislike. And we did beat Bergens and Vienna is also one. So we had three games in a row, which were, uh, uh, what we call it? A rivalry game. So we've had a few now we've faced two, beaten them already. So now we have the other two to face and, uh, hopefully continue to beat up on these guys. Continuing to grow the facilities, things were up to 20 for the um, exceptional coaching, but I think the last time we had a uh, one was pretty poor, so we'll see how things go. But everything is going pretty good. Finances-wise, going up, uh, got stuff coming in, and things are looking pretty great. Now, um, I think we'll look here first. Uh, last time you guys were here, we we had signed Skoda. Since then, we'd signed Providence, and he has been otherworldly. Six assists in three games off the right mid. Off the right wing role for us in the winger attack position. He has been exceptional. That 16 crossing and lovely pace to get down the wing really shown what he can do. And it's nice to see. He's actually started and done quite well, even though we thought he'd be a bench player. Um, Lasse Gut Gunther has been signed to be our left back. Now, I quite like the look of him. He's not the best defensively, but there's a lot to like in terms of the attacking side of the game. He's a big guy, too. He's going to be offer a lot. And on top of that, we have found a 425k buyout option on his contract. Managed to stick that in, and for what his price is, it could end up being a really nice deal at the end of the season. But we'll see how he does and see how things work before uh, making that option permanent. We also have brought in uh, Thomas Koffler, a former player of the club. He is going to be our backup left back for the season. He's on just a one-year deal with the option to extend if he plays enough games. Um, he was formerly of us, played 50, he's made his 50th appearance now after playing two games for us, so he's officially at 50 appearances for the club, but, uh, he was part of the second team for a while as well, came through AKA Tyrol, but yeah, someone who's been around the club for a very long time, and I feel it's a good idea to bring someone in like that, bit of a leader, um, hopefully addressing your influential figure and stuff like that, but we'll see what happens, um, for him, he's also more of a defensive option, so we can bring him in later on in games and help have a defensive, uh, help there. Finally, we've brought in Felipe de Carvalho, who is a winger. He has been brought in to play the left wing role, the winger on attack. 
I quite like the Lacoon, 23 year old with 15 determination. Uh, not the best personality in terms of resolute, but I like a lot of the traits and there's some good ones here as well. The consistency is not great. Obviously, the intelligence, heading, and big matches are not the best. Social group could change if uh, stuff does work out in terms of mentoring, and crossing will have to come with time. But, I don't know, there's some stuff that I like here. I like the two-footedness. I like he gets forward whenever possible, knocks by past opponent, cuts us off from the left wing. Again, he is also a lone player, so it's not the end of the world, and we are struggling to find players that are cheap. So he's really cheap, and everything's great. We also have a 190k buyout option on him as well, which is lovely to see, as I think it's way below what his value could be, and could mean that we could get him for what uh, is a nice bit of a steal. So we'll see how he does this season. If he continues to play the way he has in his first two games, it might be worth actually activating that clause in his contract. So we will, we shall see. Finally, though, uh, an, oh, sorry. Another one to uh, Uber has finally been loaded out. So we got another uh, player loaned out. Good looking guy, but I just feel he's better to be sent out on loan um, for now instead of being part of the first team. And Decker, uh, Austria Vienna put in a bid, and Decker was very happy to say, you should take it. Uh, the club did block the initial move, but he kicked up a fuss and said he wouldn't leave for anything uh, pretty much worth his value. So he finally said 800k. I got it to 800k, and he said agreed. So we decided 800k bid would mean he leaves. Austria Vienna came in pretty much the next day bought in the bid so financially we have uh, a little bit of money now to play with um we have about uh 45k and i've gone big and spent a lot of that 45k on a tim oberdorf uh the center midfielder to be loaned in i know i don't know all his stats but i know him from uh, other saves and he's very good so in my mind a player that's 30 years old not a lot in terms of the fee i think he is an excellent choice and we even do in it have 180k buyout option on him i don't think the option future fee will activate but we'll see how he does it may be worth in the future but as a hopeful mentor for um skoda i think it's something that could be looked at with a lot of positive feelings and quite a nice idea so we'll see how it all goes but i quite like the idea of it and and yeah i'm excited to see how it does work out but besides that we still do need to bring in another uh, Masala in midfield, which I will do so shortly. But I first wanted to get in the other bat ball in midfielder on defend to figure that out. As we do have Papich, who, where is he, can play in the middle, and it's not as big of a deal. I wanted to get someone who was guaranteed to play there. So things are good. Uh, things are pretty nice, obviously, in terms of that stuff. I'm happy with things. And we just really need that one last player if Oberdorf signs. We need two more, but if Oberdorf signs, we just need one more. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy with things. Very happy with a lot of stuff. But without further ado, I think it's time to get into the match. Obviously, it'll be a little longer because we went through all that stuff. We'll take an Austria Vienna before moving on to face off against Salzburg. Providence has picked up a slight injury. Uh, we did this last game because of some uh, unavailability. Pretty much because Engels was, sus Engels was uh, tired. That's what it was. He was exhausted. Um... No. Actually, you will will do this. Go on the bench. Angles, you can come here. Uh, you can go here. Actually, no. Who's done... Solberg's played really well recently, so Angles can drop to the bench. Just because then let's just have a winger, kind of winger players. I don't really know their center backs. I already have two on the bench. And Semich. Yeah, that's fine. I'm happy with that. I think it's good enough in terms of lineup. Everyone's fit, feeling good, lovely. Let's put the team out. They're in a good spot, and we shall be good to go. A little tricky with some of the availability of people, but, you know, we'll, uh, we forge on. We forge on. All right, it's time for kickoff now. Let's get into things. Encourage the side and let things go. Also, we are playing a uh, much more of a balanced style. We're not looking to dominate possession. We're looking to be more counterattacky and things like that. We got to keep strong on set pieces. But nope, we uh, just absolutely uh, shit the bet on that one. That was, um, that was terrible. How is he this free in the box? 
That doesn't make any sense at all to me. There's one guy high, meaning there should be a free guy in the box to mark him. So I'm not certain who is not doing their job. Because there's two guys open. So I'm not quite certain how that worked. Not a great start. Not a great start in the slightest. Lundfeld. Well done, Solberg. Desart. Can we... Nope. Just gonna keep playing around with the ball. Not find that pass and we'll lose possession. Brooked. Playing around here. Can we close them down? Well done, Solberg. Bit of a risky switch. Desart's got it, though. We get it back out wide. We can get it back to the Belgian. Can he find a cross? He can find Morgan! Who's got a goal for a third game running? And we've tied the score. What, what a piece. Lovely way to return the favor back to these guys. But Morgan is in a bit of a streak of form now. It's three games in a row with a goal. And uh, it's lovely to see. Trying to thought praise would be good there. Tell you guys a great job, but I guess they don't want to hear it. Hmm. Give some encouragement now. I don't know if we're gonna need to change anything too much. As long as there's been any other chances so far. Might be a look at the middle. Maybe encourage us to go a little wider as it looks like that's where a lot of the spaces have been so far. Yeah, I think if we can try to get this ball wider, it might be a good idea. Desart, he's got a chance in the back post. No. Comes out to Skoda. Solberg! Oh my word! This man has been a signing and a half. He just keeps popping up with goals or assists in key situations. And again, bodies on the edge of the box. Skoda knocks it down off the volley. Just whips that shit in. And my word. The young man adds another to his tally. What a season this young man is having. Wow. All right. He's a gem. He is an absolute gem. Defends my word. Who is that not stepping out? It's four. Layson, yeah, he's probably a little nervous. Both on yellow cards. We gotta do something about that. Alright, let's take off the aggressiveness on them, hopefully. Let's see what this highlight does, but then let's adjust some of the aggressiveness on them as we don't want to get them sent off or have them too concerned about challenges. Because that would not be good. We'll take that off for now. That's fine. Give praise now. Say good job, guys. Doing great. Halftime. Great. So let's let's get the ball wide now, I think. That'll be the, the main goal. We've had a lot of success going wide, so let's encourage the ball wide. I should not hit that, but let's just go fairly wide. Or do we want to go really wide? We'll go really wide and see if this... I uh, no, we'll go fairly wide and encourage the ball down the wings. We'll do that instead. I'm happy with that. We'll swap these two to start the game as, as uh, per that. They're both not having the greatest of halves, but we'll put Hoti on then. Just because he's right-footed. Make that one sub. They've gone aggressive. Two subs. Lundfeld. Back post. Ball. It's nowhere there. Frucht. 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 I don't know how to say that. Can get it. He's going to go long. Can we win this in the air? Yes, we can. Nice job. Skoda's got it. Does well to retain possession. And that's what we wanted. We wanted that ball out wide. We've been hitting them in these areas. Desarts. Probably not the best option to go across goal, but that's what we were looking for after that halftime tactical switch there, was to get into those wide areas more. And it's worked a charm on that one. 
Another corner for us here. Desart swings it in. Someone get ahead on it. No, but Gunther is there. Can he find a cross of his own? Blocked. Morgan! That's a fourth. That's a third. Sorry, that's a third. And we are in business now. Oh, this is lovely. Attacking through the wide areas has been an absolute treat for us today. And it continues with another goal via a cross. And Morgan being the one on the end of it. All our goals have come from crosses. Is that the Yatta from Silkborg? Hold on one sec. Uh, can I see that here? Can I see player history? Oh yeah, mixed stats. Is that him? No, it's not. Damn, there's a Yatta who look who is a similar haircut who plays for Silkborg. Carvalho, Morgan, ah, oh, nearly a third, nearly a third for the Englishman. Just start with you another corner into Solberg. Can find Carvalho, whose ball picked up his feet and cleared, but it gives us still a throw in a dangerous position. I don't know about any subs just yet. Everyone's playing really well, and no one's too re too gassed to continue. I think Layson's the only one who's struggling slightly. Maybe we'll do a center mid. I think we'll do changes in center mid and we'll do that for right now. And maybe for uh, Gunther as well, who's tiring a little. Carvalho finds, I thought he could find Solberg, but Solberg jumped over the ball. Well done, Gunther. Yeah, I'm going to do those subs, actually. I'm going to do those right now. So angles on and you on as well. Gunther here. Good run inside. Can find Carvalho, who can find Solberg! Oh! Be another lovely goal. Koffler and Engels on. Koffler hangs it up. Desart can't get ahead to it. Lundfeld's beaten for pace. Can he keep getting track of it? But Engels is there. Lovely work. Hoti to Skoda. Back to the Kosovan. Out wide to Lundfeld. He can find Desart, whose touch is too big. Lundfeld, lovely. Carvalho's got it to Morgan. Back to the Portuguese. Oh, who can't find the finish. But we're doing well. We're continuing to play really, really well in this game, creating lots and lots of chances. Desart is feeling it. So is Solberg. Do we want to go with two changes? We have two left. Hmm. How do we want to do this? I think we'll go this. Oops. We'll do that. Papich. Uh, Skoda can play here. Move you up. You there. Skoda can do that role. Angles can do that role. You can stay out wide there. And then you, my friend, can come out here. Or you're probably better as an inverted winger. You're more comfortable doing that. So Carvalho will be out on the right side. Yes, I'm happy with that. Oh, crap. There we go. Now we're all good. <laughs> I just saw Pat Mitch get put on the left wing. I was about to say, oh no. Oh no. That is not good at all. No. That is not good at all. That is not good at all. 
Let's give some praise. We'll go the super defensive bit for a little here. Can we get there? That is horrible goalkeeping. That is hor- oh crap, Papic is in the wrong spot again. That is terrible goalkeeping. Damn, that's annoying. Conceding that at the end is poor keeping, but... You know what? We scored enough. So that was good, but uh, lost another player to injury. Hmm. Not good. Not good at all. Losing players to injury a little bit too much. I thought Angles was the one that is... I thought Angles wasn't injury prone. But Morgan, again, is doing really, really well. I love Van Acker, but my god. Ang but Morgan's having a hell of a season. So it's, it's hard to complain. But... With that being said, I'm going to skip ahead to the Salzburg game, and I will catch you guys then with our new signing being across. So, good news. We have two new players. Bad news. One's already injured. Um, Oberdorf was signed and picked up an injury the day he was signed, pretty much. So... That sucks. He's out for some time pretty much the day he signed, which is not great. But he's really good. I think he looks fantastic, and the possibility to sign him for 180k in the future might be a bit of an unreal one for us. But I'm really excited for what he'll bring. He'll be a great match to have with Skoda. And finally, we picked up uh, Luciano Valenti. Uh, the Dutch-Italian joins us from Groningen, and he will be looking to play in the Metzala role. He's going to be the backup, though. And I think he is a great choice for the backup. Nothing outstanding, but as a young player with potential at 23 years old, I think it's a great move for us on a quite cheap salary. So I'm happy with that. It keeps us under budget for the season. We are good financially, and we have all the players we need to make this push for the front. Um, we can look at where we are expected to finish now. I think we're moved up a bit to... No, we've actually dropped down to 8th since I've made signings. We're expected to finish in 8th place um, right now, I don't know what the media prediction is. Media prediction is ninth. Uh, the season preview is in eighth, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what these guys will do. I'm quite happy with it. So, so yeah, but I think we'll be good. Looking forward to it, but I think it's time to play the big boys. Salzburg awaits. Um, we go to the city, uh, city of our rivals for the first match of the season against them. But we shall see how that goes. Hoti has also picked up a injury in training, which is not good. Sorry, I was doing a registration. New boy is going to make the bench. Um, I like you, Koffler, but uh, Semich can play both roles, which is makes him more exciting. And Providence is back, so that's good there. Where do you want to go with Koffler? Because he's just very good defensively. No, 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 we'll stick. Hmm. This is where the conundrum is. Obviously, one is better than the other defensively. Like, he's got two strength, 11 and 8. 12 strength, 11, 12. Yeah, I think it's better to have Koffler for this one. We need more defensive players for this game. So that's going to be the lineup. I'm happy with all of this. The only change I will make is I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to go like this, because Providence has been amazing. And I think this is a, I'm much happier with this lineup. Is he not training to be a center mid? He is. Okay. Just need more time in the role. But I think I'm happy with everything else otherwise. I think we're in a good spot. Pretty much the best lineup. Been the most unformed team and everything else uh, recently. And yeah, we'll send it out. Got some new boys on the bench. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this. If we win this game, um, if we win this one, it's kind of absurd because I think we'll be 100% be in the running for title, uh, for the title. This is an unreal team. Are you kidding me? I mean, the back line, not as good, but Correa, Gluck, Mitrovic, Linez. My god, Mantle's still in goal, which is kind of surprising. Oh no, he's pretty damn good, though. 
So I, I didn't. I just he never seemed like he was going to develop into anything, especially it's because he's on loan from he's on loan at uh somewhere from Sociedad. I don't know. We shall see. An early highlight here. We obviously are going to be playing. You know, we might want to go cautious to start. They're playing it around here. It's all right. Lundfeld, my word. All right, that's uh, that's scary. That is scary. Very scary. Well done. Oh boy. Luke Correa, come on, get to him. Oh, Gunther, that's that's a great start. All right. Settle down, boys. Settle down. I think we might want to go. Let's go wide and more direct to start as well. All right. We're surviving. <laughs> this game is all about survival right now. You're surviving. That's all I want to see. Oh boy. Keep giving encouragement. Just keep saying you guys can do it. You guys can do it. Another corner. We got everyone marked. Well done. Second ball. Got to deal with this opportunity well. And nope, he hit the ball at about Mach 10. Great. Not a good one here. Um, who is, yeah. Skoda, some of these guys need to step out. But it's poor goalkeeping. Nonetheless, though, that's poor keeping. What's annoying is they've only had two shots now. We've had more opportunities. Hmm. Might need to change some things up come the second half. Oh, boy. All right. Um... And then we go a deeper line. We, let's try to sit off in a mid block come second half. Oh, Lundfeld, no need to go to ground. You don't need to go to ground. Yeah. Come on, close down Korea. Get there, Gunther. Well done. Getting it clear again. No way! There's no way that's a penalty. He hasn't even fouled him. Where's the penalty? Where's the penalty? What's the foul? What? Where's the penalty? Where is there a penalty here? So he plays it. So we clear it out there. Sagan has it back in. Clem gets it. Goes back to Wambasaka. Correa gets it. Goes down the wing. Da -da 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 -da. All right. This looks terrible now because the way I'm clicking it. So it goes to Linez, right? And it, there's no penalty. That is rigged. I mean, I knew Austria was, was going to have some bullshit in it because Salzburg are the, are the big boys. But my word, that is just criminal from the referee. I mean, make it a little less clear you're throwing the game, ref. Mitrovic, 
Gartler, come on, make up for it. He can't. Brilliant. Um, so, goalkeeper spills ball into his own net, and they've got a phantom penalty. Great. All right. Let's do some work in here. So let's go to a mid block, right? I'll make it a little higher. Not much higher. Hmm. Find volume in a mid block. Look to counter. We'll go quick. Run at defense, pass into space. No, no, we'll 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 go wide, higher tempo, standard passing, run at defense, hit early crosses. That's good, that's all. I like the I like how everyone's positioned. Uh sit narrower, close down more. That's fine. Yeah, I should just mark tighter. You'd be a pressing forward. Dribble more, shoot more, yes. Make this sub. Um, we'll go this as well. I think we're good otherwise. We'll just make those two subs up front, and we'll try out this new setup and see how this works. Just trying to be a little more of a block, just so that we can absorb some more pressure and try to get them on the counter a little more. Did I click go left and right? No. Uh. What is that? What was that? Guys? What was that? What is this? Lundfeld, what are you doing? One, so poor position. He just runs. He just runs by him. He's nowhere near... Cl oh, my God, Lundfeld. Carvalho. Finish. Right to Mantle. We'll go this as well. New boy comes on. What? No, 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 no. Why, why are they swapping like that? Yeah, good. There you go. I was the sort swapping. There we go. Yeah, I guess final sub will go here. Uh, it's not been a good one. Not been a good one so far. Be nice to get something from it. Come on, guys. Can we get something from this? It's great play. He's in. Finish. Yes! There we go. All right. Second half, tactically, it's worked. I mean, they had the one chance early on, but it's worked so far tactically, which is good. If we get another, it's... I might go for it. Is that Ferlin Mendy?
Good save, good save. Oh, that was it. How do they have Mendy? They got him for free. Oh my god. What the fuck? His team is ridiculous. Oh my god. Three one. Damn. You know what? Some positive signs though, I'd say. Outshot them and stuff like that. We had very little possession, but our game plan worked decently well on the counter in terms of some of those things. So there there's good signs, I think, come the future of the games against these guys. It's just, I think we have to execute a lot better defensively and other things like that. But things worked pretty well. So, um, I think there's, there's some, there's positives to look from this, in my opinion. It's, it's not great, but you know, it's, uh, there's some stuff which I'm happy with that I saw from this game. And plus it also helps a new boy to get an assist right away. But we knew we weren't going to win every game, so it's fine. You just want to beat your, uh, beat your main rivals. I don't know about that. Yeah. I don't know about that. I mean, I think we definitely were probably the better team on the day. We didn't have more possession, but I think we created more, uh, more XG per chance and stuff. You had a penalty, so like, I think we definitely had a lot more non-penalty XG. We probably could add two goals pretty easily. So there's a lot there that I think Struber needs to rethink. But he's an absolute idiot and has failed upward his career. So it doesn't really matter. But that was good. When I'm, I'm annoyed to lose against Salzburg. Hopefully we can uh, improve on that. But next time around, we will be facing off against Altac as well as uh, Cronenborg Kronem, in the second round of the cup. So. Those two games set, I'll be facing off against these four guys on my own before we take off on those two there. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. And if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. And be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes. On top of that, if you guys are enjoying this stuff and enjoying some of the tactics and other things like that, be sure to check out our tactic test series that has been going on. As well, you can check out realistic tactics or some ones I've made in FM just for fun and some cool ideas regardless. So, thank you so much again for watching, everyone. I hope you guys did really enjoy, and I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one, where we face off against Altac and Cronenborg in the Cup.